ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second annual Cirque Awards. Hey! hey! We did it. We did a second season. Can you believe it? Welcome to we the made second it. award. Thank you for joining us, everybody at home, for the Rugby League's Night of Nights. Night of Nights. It's Rugby League's Night of Nights. The When the fuck is the Dalliums? I don't fucking know. It wasn't on tonight. It's, I'm upset. It's tomorrow night. It's tomorrow night. Oh, we should have waited. We should have waited. <laughs> we should have waited. Excellent. Never mind, we're here now. Should we wait? We should have recorded this yesterday. Like. Yeah, we should record this yesterday, yeah. 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 Anyway, <sighs> welcome to our fucking circumcision, whatever we do here. It's good to be here. We've I've got to put up with you cunts all fucking year. And, um, uh, you know, I think I did the math last night and you've actually missed 22.3% of the episodes. So not, exactly. not the entire year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you I'll for that. To appeal to the um, the board of directors to have that not um, deducted from my uh, from next from next year. Yeah, from, from your pay. My, yeah, yes. that'll be deducted from next year's games. Yeah. That's right. for sure. Well, we've got a lot to get to today. We. Um, Thank you for joining us, but we have got the grand final preview. The teams have come out this afternoon for the grand final preview. One to seventeen for the Panthers and the Broncos. One to seventeen. Um, one to seventeen. Uh, last week we both took the Panthers and the Broncos to win this. What a, what a funny happenstance that uh, the teams that finished in first and second uh, the are in the grand final. Has that happened it's before? The best. It's sure. the best grand final potential in terms of a of a sporting spectacle in very mm-hmm. long time. Oh. And I'm really looking forward to it. Can, can I can I just say like I'm listening to my uh, a playlist right now while while we're recording and mm-hmm. the best by Tina Turner has just come on shuffle. <laughs> One of the, the te- fucking chances. Isn't the Tina Turner musical the like the halftime show or something? Year? Not sure. It might be. I don't know. It should be. But yeah, uh, probably the most iconic rugby league song of all time, uh, apart from "What's My Team" by yeah, exactly. the Hoodoo Gurus. That's probably the greatest. What? You remember? Who do you- who do you right. think Tina Turner fucked when she was here supporting the NRL? Uh, Eddingshausen. That the... Eddingshausen. Is that Andrew, true? Andrew Eddingshausen in, in it, during that period of time was like a, like a fucking Brad Pitt levels of hot. Billy Billy Walters is in this photo of the Broncos winning the premiership, and Billy Walters has got it. Not Billy. Uh, Kevin Walters. Kevin has got has got his arm around Tina Turner in this photo. So I'm thinking yeah. probably Kevin uh, Walters is doing this one for Tina. What do you think? Kevin could have Kevin could have smashed. We would have cried when he smashed, but he would have smashed. Oh yeah, he's definitely Hold a on. crier. Speaking of criers during smashing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the spaceman himself. Did he say hold on and then just disappear? Wait. Oh, Benjamin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Ben, we we what what else do you need to do to get ready for this episode? Are you getting are you putting on some props? Are you putting on a costume Wait. or something? Fucking like twenty minutes. We're twenty minutes after the fifteen minutes you pushed us back. Hold on. <laughs> We're um, Thirty-five minutes late. Somebody's here. Hold on. Somebody's here. Somebody's uh, during here. the circus. The circus. <laughs> Get your fucking shit together, dude. Uh, Holy should, shit. Should we? Should we just talk, Mike? Mm. What do you wanna? What do you talk about the grand these, file? Yeah. Look at these teams, man. Tell me who's gonna win. Well, I tell you what, that's a that's a great question. Mm-hmm. Who's going to win this game? Who you I, I, house on? I, I have an I have an answer to that question, but I'm not going to do a Benjamin and just give you the answer just as it is. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to analyze it. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm the, I'm the Gus Gould in this situation. You are. Right, Your at, eyes at, are folded over themselves, and those yes. folds have folds one on sec, them. Guys, one sec, guys. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah, stop right. saying one sec. Just take yeah, the just, sec. Just t- take take your sec. I'm talking. <laughs> Even when he's not at his computer, he's trying to interrupt me. Uh, <laughs> okay, so yes, as you said, both teams, they're 1-17. to 17. Yes. So the, for the Panthers, I think the only... I, I check, check the casualty ward, right? The only player they have injured so far is Talon May, who did his ACL in the preseason. So yeah. that's a testament to how good of a club they are. Not only they're so good on the field, but their uh, physio team and their health team uh, are so good. They only have one injured player. That's insane yeah. by the end of the season. Yeah, um, that's really good. So Jerome Luai and Isaac Tango, they've come through unscathed. They played last week, a bit of a warm-up, you know, against the Storm, who they just rolled over. Mm-hmm. Um, they were always going to get here. They were always going to get to the grand final, chasing three in a row. 
I don't know the last time that was done three in a row. It would be, probably be the back 80s? to 80s, Eels? 70s. I'm not sure. It might be the Eels, yeah. yeah. Um, for the Broncos, as you said, same 17 as well last week. Talk that Herbie Farnworth may have had a bit of a hamstring scare at training mm -hmm. this week, but he's named, see if he mm -hmm. plays, expected to play. Mm -hmm. Also a full strength side, basically, I think only Xavier Willison uh, in their squad is injured, who was not in, was going to play anyways. Never this fucking game. heard of him. Yeah. So, so that's good news. Good news for this game that we've got full two basic teams. full yeah. strength teams, first and second. The two best teams all year are facing each other grand final. Fantastic. Um, Stats-wise, okay, so looking at this contest, Panthers have won five of their last six games against the Broncos. So the the loss there, the one in the six, came in round one of this mm -hmm. year. If you remember, when the Broncos won by one point, 13 to 12. Yeah, um, a, lot of, a lot of things change at the start of the year. The Dolphins beat the Roosters at the start of the year. I remember that. Yep. Great yep. times. One so... of those teams made the finals, and the other one didn't. Um, yeah. Penrith, they got revenge in round 12 mm -hmm. when they won 15 to 4, a bit of an odd score line. As we know, the Panthers have been the easily, by far and away, the best defensive team all year. They conceded around about, what, 10 to 12 points a game on average, which is nothing. Mm -hmm. um, they lost Fuck a handful off. of games. Broncos have had have scored the most tries of any team this season. They've scored the most tries, but Panthers scored the most points. So uh, that's a testament to how good their goal kicking has been by comparison. But basically, you know, essentially the two best attacking teams. But the Panthers, much better defensively. Pan uh, Broncos are just, as we know, Mike, they're young, they're hot, they are juiced, full of it's semen. Juiced out of your brain. They, I mean, the spoon two years ago to now, incredible. Yeah. And fucking Payne Haas was talking about leaving because he wants to win a Prem. Cunt, this is your chance. This is it. Put it all out here. You haven't given me an answer, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bump in here. I Go think ahead. the Panthers are gonna win this, but there is a world where the Broncos can win. And it's like Panthers are a super great defensive team and they love getting into the grind with other teams. They love it, they revel in it. That's what they've been doing for the last three years. If the Broncos are going to win this game, they're going to need to throw the footy around and come up with some shit that the Panthers have never seen before. The, mm -hmm. These are two terrific teams. As much as I hate Reese Walsh, I think it's him. I think he's got to step up and be the guy. He's your man. You know? he, he's my man. And, and if we can sort of lead into what we're going to talk about next, um, mm -hmm. I think Reese Walsh, he's my Clive Churchill pick. Wow! Wait, you yeah. say Panthers win, but he's the Clive Churchill? Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna hedge my bets. Okay, all right. Yeah, my bets aren't gonna make sense. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give me Reese Walsh for Clive Churchill. Okay, all right, gotcha. Who all do right, you yeah. got for this game? Uh, uh I. Yes, are you, are you okay, Benjamin? Visually, I can see yeah. that you're back. So I just had a knock on my door. Yeah. Distinctive knock on my door, and I got up. And I look through the peephole and I see the silhouettes of two men. And I'm okay. not, I've never had anybody knock on my door. Mm -hmm. Ever. 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 What they well, want. other than an, a guest that I like I would know would be coming over the same. I can I can tell I, you're concerned. You got the Wi Fi symbol on your forehead. I, <laughs> um, I had a out and then I just like made the 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 place is a mess. Yeah. And just sort of like Center yourself. Fucked around, centered myself, opened the door. There's two security guards um, yelling at me in a language I couldn't understand. Yeah. Um, and then... Oh, you just stop coming in the towels and putting them in the hallway. I'll, I'll, I'll call my <laughs> friend who can who can speak to you. And then I closed the door and I went to open it and they're gone. Okay. Huh? And there were Sekis. Yes. That's okay. strange. Very strange. Yeah, very strange. Very odd. Yeah. Yeah. I've been making um, that much noise with the with the. Do you think if they come back, you're gonna ignore them, or you just? What are you gonna do when they come back? I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see. So uh, Ben, as a reminder, we're currently recording an episode of Just the Tip. Not yeah. only any episode of Just the Tip, but the Circies. 
This yeah, is so the, this is I need circuits, you to yeah. I need you to fire up right now and tell me who's gonna win the grand final. Dial the fuck in, motherfucker. Dial the fuck in. Holy shit. All that fucking energy you've wasted during the week. Man, I've expelled so it the fuck many. in. Jesus. The Who's winning the Panthers, grand final? The Panthers are going to win okay. the grand final. I'm and sorry for being so firm. Pete. It's a three-peat nobody wanted to see. Yeah, well, I'll see it. I want to see this. Okay, all right, Benjamin. Oh, God, what's he doing? Do, do, oh, yeah, the Panthers, Panthers shorts. Yeah, I love I'll that. I can see it. All right, ben Benjamin, do the Broncos have a chance? The Broncos have a chance if they get up early. If they're leading by, say, if they can get the first two tries, I think they've got a chance. I think, like, yeah, we just want a better game than what the Eagles put on last year. The Eagles were fucking dog shit and were never in that game last year. It was boring. Um... I hopefully this is more exciting. Should be terrific. It sort of depends on whether or not the Lions beat Collingwood on the Saturday. If Collingwood mm. wins, so much more pressure on the Broncos. Holy shit! Yeah, it's true. It's true. Oh, yeah. holy fuck! Okay, all right, all right, all right. Ben, Ben, while while you while you're here, while you're while you're in the pocket, you're in the zone. We mm -hmm. need a um, a first try score from you and man of the match, Clive Churchill medal winner, and how much are the Panthers going to win by? The Clive, has, the Clive has to come from the winning team, right? No, it doesn't. Oh, really? It's just the best, the best player on the field. I remember it was at 2013 Grand Final and the Roosters beat Manly. Daily Terry Evans was Clive Churchill. Okay. Sorry, Ben. Proceed. Panthers by seven points. Seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Uh, um, um, little Walshy to be the, the, the miracle kid to score the first try. First that's try. A okay. That's a double up. Oh, no. Never mind. I had Walshy for the Clive. All right, Walsh first try, yep. Yeah. Um, and then I think I think yeah, either Edwards or Cleary, probably. Like I think, mm. I think there'll be it might be a bit of like a, Edwards back to back Clives. Yeah, uh, or um, it might go to Cleary just because he's the son and it's the three P and the whole. If they, if they win this grand final, Billy, which Billy think, Walters well, is a son. It, it is. It'll be the pinnacle of him and his father's relationship in their whole life as a father and a son will be capping off this 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 three this three peat, and they'll never experience it again. They won't win next year. They can and ride off this, into the sunset together. The, th the question is, do you want to see the Cleary family live out their fairy tale? And I don't want to see. It them but then also i don't want to see the bronc I, I really like both team bosses just need to crash into each other it's sort of yeah it is sort of <laughs> like the orcs of mordor versing the empire a little bit we're all just sort of like man fuck i wish it was another team. Oh, i'm here for it <laughs> he's back wait he's, right. he's gone again okay hey, give me right. give me your first try your clive and yeah. Yeah. First yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. I, I've, I've been thinking about this one. All right. It's all right, Ben. You do your thing. You do your thing. Whatever. Um, people at the door. Like looking at these teams, right? Like it's just the Broncos, rugby league night of nights. It's, all, it's, it's just rugby league night of nights. It's, it's just rugby league night. It's all good. It's all good. It's fine. It's, it's, fine. it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We it's pushed fine. it back to suit him, it's and fine. he's fucking running off to his front door. Security guards are there. I, it's fine. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I'm good. Um, I'm crew. I'm crew. I'm I'm relaxed. Um, Super okay, relaxed. this game. So, the Broncos, they got Payne Haas, they got Patrick Carrigan, absolute sure. hogs. So they've got Reese Wal, they got Reese Walsh at the back. They got Tony Staggs and Herbie Farnworth in their centers. They've got mm -hmm. Strike. They got Adam Reynolds, absolute veteran of the game, Premiership oh, winner, steering oh, the oh. ship. He's been there before. He's been He's there before. It. He's, He's been lost been there. it. He knows what it feels like to lose it. He's been there, you know. done that, lost it, won it. Got the shittest tattoos in the game. Shittest tattoos. Shittest tats in the game. Possibly um, the worst haircut as well. Panthers are uh, currently the the dynasty team, the dynasty team. They are the the ultimate team right now. They're going for three in a row. They are so well drilled. 
they lose players, they lose Kikau, uh, I can't remember who else, doesn't even fucking matter. Cor uh, Coruscant, mm. doesn't matter, they're still top doesn't of matter. the ladder. Yeah. They're still first. Um, I think that, I don't know the last time people won any one three in a row, but I think the Panthers do it. I mm. honestly think they do. I think the Broncos have a, a better shot than the Eels did last year. Absolutely. But I, I I still think the Panthers win. They're just too good. They're going to be too good. Their defense has been all good all year. I think they're going to lock down Reese Walsh. That's why I've completely eliminated Reese Walsh from any sort of first try Clive Churchill type stuff. I think he's the guy who creates the tries and finishes the tries. They're going to lock yeah. him down. Um, I think for me, the Panthers win. I'm going to give you a scoreline. I think the Panthers win 24 to 16. I think they win by eight points. I That's think the close. Panthers. I think the Panthers score first, and I tell you who score first. Grand Finals specialist Stephen Crichton scores first. That's a good. That's a good bet. Critter. Yeah. Critter's good. Critter. Critter was unfortunate not to make my um, top five plays of the year. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. He got cut at the last minute. I, I think yeah. I, I remembered someone. and I was like, oh, actually, remove Critter and put put this other person in. Um, yeah. So that's I, a good. I, that's I a good think bet. he's he scores first. Clive Churchill's really tough for me because uh, Dylan Edwards won it last year. Nathan Cleary won it the year before. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like Cleary's the obvious answer. I think he's like in the prime of his career right now. Yeah. As much as I don't love to say it, I think it's Cleary. I think yeah. I, I thought about Isaiah Yo. I've thought about Dylan Edwards. I even thought about Jerome Luai. I even thought about Stephen Crichton. I thought about James Fisher Harris. Not gonna be Romy. It could be fish. But I, I actually I even thought about Smokey, Mitch Kenny, just turning out a fucking like all time performance. You never know. Yeah. Um the but I'm gonna life. go with I'm gonna go with Nathan Clear from my Clive Churchill. Panthers win by eight points. Three in a row. Historic um father son greatest father son coaching player captain partnership of all time, Ivan and Nathan. Panthers win for me. E e either way, we are going to get a father and son on the back page of the Telegraph. Either way, which I'm excited for. That's very true. Well, I That's love very that. true. Now, uh, have you given your uh, first try? Uh, no, I haven't. Good, good pick. Who, who am I going to get for first try? Try. Uh, Critters, a good pick. And um, I want to pick someone spicy. I'm going to pick someone spicy. Spicy, like that. Give me Billy Walters. You know, ah. Billy Walters was looking hot last week, and he did bamboozle the defense of the he Broncos. He scored two I mean, tries. The, the was, um, yeah. Give me Billy Walters. Whoever had, yeah, whoever had DWZ and Billy Walters, two or more, millionaire last week. So yeah. Good. If if you remember last week when we were like having that uh, K party, I was like, honestly, Billy, Billy Walters is playing pretty good odds here. Twenty thirty four. He, he did score the first try, but he scored the second try. Uh, but I'm oh, just saying. The viewers if, would be so upset if they yeah. saw you at that party. You were if, in, you were in and out of watching the footy. I was there the whole time. You were mingling. You were coming back. Oh, you were mingling. You know, you missed me. the first two, two tries. Yeah, if, you were if, just. If, if I get enough drinks in me, if if I get enough drinks in me, I cannot help but mingle. Mm. I'm a I'm a serial mingler. <laughs> you are a serial mingler. <laughs> it's too bad we don't have an episode title for this because it'd be that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. A serial mingler. I'll write it down anyways, right. just for old time's sake. Well. That's enough for the grand final preview. I think the next item on the agenda was Ben's award for whatever he wants, um, but obviously he's not here. So we're going to skip that to... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's, it's just the circus. We'll do, we'll do it live, you know. Um, we're going to go to comment of the year, uh, something that I prepared earlier. Sorry, I've got them yeah. on my phone and I will send this to you afterwards so that you can upload mm -hmm. them in front of us. Um, look, there was a lot of good comments this year. Um, I think I started with 12, and I've Comment gotten it, and I've got five. I kind of wanted to spread it out. There was one serial commenter who just, you know, hit it we, out of the park every we, single we, time. We, we won't name names. No. But yeah. he always came in hot. He, he always fucking came in hot. Um, oh, here he is. Hang on. He's taking his jacket off. He's, it's hot. Have you been arrested, my, uh, Ben? Have you been arrested? <laughs> Look at that. He's getting three bars Wait, over you, there. You, you're, you're muted. You're, you're muted. muted you need to you need, you need to put your headphones on. Pause the recording. Pause the recording. Paused. No, no. Okay, we'll pause it. Paused. 
There's no pause button, dude. How many times do we have to tell you? There's no pause button. There's no pause button. I just need to cut it out. Yeah. All right. Don't worry about it then. Let's just continue. What happened? I can't talk about it on here. We'll, we'll cut it out. <laughs> Matt swears on Cindy's life that he'll cut it out. No, just continue the show. Continue the show. Oh, we've got the studies on. Okay. All right. Comment of the year. Comment of the year. First award um, of the night. And thank you for everyone who left comments this year. Please leave more it. comments. Honestly, say whatever the fuck you want. We will say it on YouTube. I'll read it out. I don't give a yeah. fuck. Yeah, algorithm be damned. We I don't care who out. comes to my fucking door. I'm reading it out. I'll read it's it a, out. And, and that's a guarantee. Yeah. Uh, look, here, I'm going to read four of the the runner runners up. Uh, first one we've got here is History of Football. Uh, four months ago, writes, I personally don't like a lot of lube, only a small amount. Too much isn't enjoyable for me, like. <laughs> Great comment. Great comment. Ben, you didn't like that comment? Great comment. No, he's he's uh, triggered right now. Yeah, hey, like, um, can we do this tomorrow night? No, nah, we're doing it now, dude. We're already, like, 40, mi 40 minutes in. Right. What happened? You're so sweaty. Dude. Turn your aircon on. Ben, 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 I understand that you're sweating and you're nervous, but I need you to compartmentalize, okay? Because we are in the fucking end game right now. We're in our grand final right now, and we're down. You're, we're down 12 points. You've made a couple errors. You've made it. You've given away a couple penalties. I, I'm having giving you a halftime speech right now, even though it's really early in the episode. It's I like need you to time. switch on. I need you. I need you tonight, Ben. I need you. Please. Okay, let's start again. Give me two minutes. Keep, give me two minutes. I'll start again. Cool. I'll keep doing comment of the year. Um, you forgot to mute it. <laughs> All right, dude. Okay, can you just... Okay. Just pause. <laughs> no, no, it's just all good. It's all content. Um, all right, in fourth place for comment of the year, we've got Jojo Rabbit 6896 who has uh, written in 18 minutes until tips. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jojo minutes. Rabbit. There you are. 18 minutes till tips. Yes, that's that's a that's a shot. Hey, right. hey at, at least this week we we started off pretty early with our tips. We did. We got there. We we got it all out of the way, and now we're getting to the bullshittery. Um, that's right. Next comment I've got is um, from Jeff Stern. He writes, Matt, I haven't blocked you. I watch every episode and am dazzled by the moronic disinformation that is sprouted by the three of you. Ben's constant fidgeting annoys me. Mike's know-it-all attitude annoys me, and you're fucking boring. FYI, old people understand sarcasm, and the eels are specials. I did like that one. And the eels one won. Of, one of the old time. When you come for all three of us, yeah, I love that. That's great. That's good yeah, stuff. We appreciate know? that. We appreciate that. <laughs> it's having a fucking moment. <laughs> ben is um, having a moment. Um, second place goes to Wobblin Jaw Sports. Um, this is kind of a lengthy one. Uh, okay. Wobblin Jaw writes... You've wakened to the real... Wait, sorry. You've wakened up to take a real late-night piss. You stand there at the toilet, and you don't realise there's a microscopic piece of lint in your cock hole. You begin whizzing, but it shoots out in four different directions. A bit of unexpected midnight toilet cleaning sucks. Yeah, that was my one of my favourites. My favourite part of that one is it just has nothing to do with anything, <laughs> and it just came out of nowhere. Like, he gets yeah. it. Wobbling yeah, Jaw yeah. gets it. You know? Yeah, we, we had we had mentioned it, and then he really expanded and evolved, and uh, yeah, it was it was one of the one of the good great comments. But just second place though, just second place, number really one comment of the year. Wins. Do you think you know what it might be? I think. Yeah. Wait, I th I've I've an inkling. All right, the comment of the year. He was rounding up third place and first place. <laughs> We've got Jeff Stern. Ben has been chewing ice since he fucked up his mother's nipples during breastfeeding. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> hey. hey! Comment of the year, Jeff. Congratulations. The first, the first silver circuit of 2023 goes to Jeff Stern. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, well done. Well done. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ben, are you ready for your award or are you still, are you still struggling? Yeah, Ben, do you want to give out your, uh, your award? No, he's just out there smashing plates. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the... This is so, this is... <laughs> this is so unhinged. <laughs> All right. 
Um, uh, good content. Good content. Should we? Do you want to do scandal of the year or results of our preseason predictions? Let's do preseason preseason predictions. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm having fun. At, I'm having a great time. <laughs> um, listen, at the start of the year, right? We each gave our predictions for what would happen this year. So the mm-hmm. things that we wanted to predict were who would win the premiership, who would be the runner-up, so the other team in the grand final. Yeah. We also tipped our top eight in order. We also tipped who would win the wooden spoon, mm-hmm. who would be the first coach sacked, mm-hmm. who would win the Dahlia medal, who we don't know yeah, at this at this point, um, and which team would have the most off-field drama. Now I can tell we, you who we, that we, was. I, I look, went back through my news notes, and I can tell you who that was. Yeah, well, I've got... I got some stuff here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, for the premiers, so the winners of the competition, both myself and Ben said the Roosters, you said the Sharks. So that's no one gets any points. Null there. and void. Yeah. Null and void. The runners up. Ben said the Eels. I said the Sharks. You said the Roosters. He said all the eels? incorrect. He said the Eels. Yeah. <laughs> um, so all incorrect there. Now, top yeah. eight. So I, I can tell you right now that, Mike, you had the least correct. So, um, the, the, I had the, the to- storm out of the eight, didn't I? You did, yeah. So, it, of the top eight, you had the Sharks, the Roosters, the Panthers, and the Raiders in there correctly, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but you also had the Cowboys, Rabbitohs, Bulldogs, and Titans, which didn't make the uh-huh. eight, and also ah. no- none of them you got in the exact right spot either. They are all mm-hmm. in the wrong spots. Okay. Ben got five teams correct in the top eight. Brewster, Sharks, Panthers, Broncos, and Raiders in exactly the right spot, eighth. Really? But he had Eels, Rabbitohs, Cowboys in there who didn't make it. So he had five of eight correct, but one exactly correct, if that makes sense. Okay. All right. Now, correct. Raiders, exactly in eighth spot. Now, myself just got ahead of Ben. So I uh-huh. also had the Panthers, Sharks, Roosters. Um, I had the Storm, but not the Broncos. And I had the Raiders. But I had the Panthers and the Raiders in the exact right spots. Panthers in first, Raiders in eighth. So I get the point there. I got the top eight correct. Yeah. It was a it was a boring pick by my part, but you know, it ended up being correct. So one yeah. point for me there. You have been accused of being fucking boring. I have been accused of being boring, but yeah. correct. Yeah. Um, all right, wooden spoon. Ben had the knights, I had the warriors. Oh. Mike had the dragons. None of us were correct. It was the tigers. Oh, I should get a point for being the closest. You were the closest, but that's uh, not how it works. And I did say that I wanted to pick the Tigers. Yeah, I did but say, I, I did but I will, see it. I will you know? say this. You do get a point because you got the first coach sacked, Anthony Griffin. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah. I had Kevin Walters. Oh, grand final. Uh, and Ben had Justin Holbrook, who which I think was the second Yeah, he was close. This yeah, he year. was close. Close. Now, Dally M winner. Mm-hmm. You and I both had Nathan Cleary. Yeah. Ben had Mitch Moses. Um... I don't think it's going to be Nathan Cleary because he missed a bunch of games due to injury. Who and it's ben definitely think was on making Mitch Moses. the grand final. Eels, the Eels, obviously. E- Eels and, and Mitch Moses, yeah. So okay. I, 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 can, I can probably, you know, confidently say that none, none Nathan Cleary or Mitch Moses is probably going to win the Dally M this year. Mm-hmm. I think we know who it's probably going to be. We talk about him later. So yeah. I'll say no points there. Now, at this point, you and I both have one point each. Ben has zero. Yeah. Most off field drama. You said the West Tigers. Is he showering? Yeah, I think he's... <sighs> Rugby League's Night of Nights. Um... <laughs> okay, Mike. Yeah. Focus just... in, Matt. I'm going to need it, you to focus in. It's just Please. you and me here. It's just you and me, baby. It's just you and me. Yeah, let's um, do it. Whatever. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, so the, you said the West Tigers were the most off-field drama. Yes. I said the Brisbane Broncos. Didn't happen. Mm, now, yeah, no. Ben said the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs for the most off-field drama. Oh, that's close. Now, it's definitely not the Broncos. Who had more off-field drama, Bulldogs or Tigers, do you think, this year? Have you, like, gone through and counted the Daily Mail articles? I did go check that same website, the Daily Mail <laughs> yeah. website. Daily Mail is good. I realized recently yeah. when I was looking for Shame of the Year award that you can search by... Rugby league off-field drama, like that is a tag that you can put in yes, and just off, go through the. I was like, off-field what behavior. This year? Yeah. I was like, what happened this year? Oh yeah, Dylan Brown. Yeah. Mm. Um, who do I think had more? Yeah, let's 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 think about it. Right, the West Tigers, they were just really shit. That's and their issue. 
the West Tigers had their like CEO fucking up every single week for like four weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm still gonna I'm gonna take my West Tigers pick here. I'm gonna stick yeah. with them. See, see the Bulldogs. They had a lot of off-field drama because they, they had, had a huge they, spike. They they, they, they had a person, a, a play like Andrew Davy leave because he didn't like the coach. They had um, a player who's to be unnamed left due to mental health reasons, saying he's never going to come back to the club. We'll talk about that again later. Off-field drama, yeah. Tigers obviously the, most of their drama came from the fact that just their shit, and that's not off-field drama. That's on-field drama. On-field, yeah. they were shit. I have a feeling it might Man. be the Bulldogs. You reckon? You have a feeling you've got the you've got the numbers there in front of you. I've got the numbers, but this is the this is the controversial one we need to discuss. It's like I, I feel like off field, mm-hmm. on field, definitely the Tigers, but off field, I feel like the Bulldogs edge them. Yeah. How do you feel about that one, Ben? Ben, what do you think? Oh uh, yeah, well I tipped her to be, so of course I'm in support of that. Okay. Yeah, I mean I, I feel like it's the Tigers, but I'm happy to concede. Yeah, I, I tell you what, Ben, it seems like you're having a hard night. So let's give you a point here. Yeah. Give him the point. I'll give him the point. And That's you know what that point. means? You know what that means? Preseason, just the tip predictions. It's a three way draw. Yeah. Hey, we all let's win. Go. We, we all, all win. won. Salute, salute. <laughs> hey, salute. Ben, are you here? Are you are you here? You're ready? Are you back I'm with ready. us now? Yeah. Give us Benny's cum drop of the year, please. Yeah. Listen, Ben, before you even say it, by the way, and I know you will later, we are not re-recording this episode. We're, we are already, straight up not I've re-recording had so this episode. Much fun already. We're having a great time. I've okay. I've drunk almost seven standard drinks worth of sparkling wine. Oh. And not to be redone. <laughs> okay. Daddy's little cum drop of the year. This is Benjamin's uh baby. This is his award. This is his idea. This is his uh brain child, whatever you call it. Um, take it away, Ben. I don't even know what cum drop of the year means. Could you explain for the new listeners what it means? Yeah, for the new listeners, the new, the new viewers. It's basically like, like, daddy's little boohoo baby, um, gets whatever they want. Okay. And the award <laughs> for daddy's little cum drop of the year goes to... Yeah. Does he have to have a dad who's a coach? <laughs> Should. No, he's nah. got a daddy though. Yeah. Trauma. Trauma. Wait, two, wait, wait. Two years in a row. I'm pretty sure, right? Two years in a row. I think so. Yeah, that's. I'm pretty sure. He, I'm pretty sure. He, uh, that's back to back. Back to back. Wow, that's huge. Well, congratulations, Trauma. Congratulations, Trell. Congratulations, congratulations, Trell. It's Brother. no surprise that the award given away by Ben. Back to back Latrells. <laughs> He's just got a bone to pick with Trell Mitt. Uh, we know he does. It's in the fucking end of every video. Mm hmm. Your enemy. Would you say Trell Mitt is your enemy? No. No? Sure Who is? He's a nice guy. I'm sure he's a good dude. Who is your enemy? Is it Eddie Matter? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that name. <laughs> I, I, never had, I never had beef with that guy. I mean, that guy was pretty good. Okay. All right. You know what I think might cheer you up, Benny? Yeah, what? Who's got the dirtiest foreskin in the in the NRL? That's dirtiest foreskin. Too early. It's too early. That's yeah, like the gold. You gotta. Back. Okay, he needs okay, to warm right, up. Right, he right, needs right, to warm right, up. All right, all right. Hang on, let me look at my schedule here. We got that. All right. Um. All right. Should we do scandal of the year? Scandal of the year. Let's do scandal it. This is my year. award. This is- this is my favorite last year. Who won it last year? Was it Ricky Stewart with the weak gutted dog comment? I think so. Yeah, it was. He also he won got, press conference performance of the year last year. He got double circuits last year. Yeah, so we, we're, we're changing the awards this year a little bit. So scandal of the year. So this is my award to search and decide the winner. And I tell you what, there, you know, it wasn't the craziest year for scandals, but there were still a few. So let me read out some of the people who missed the cut. Let me okay. list out some of the people who didn't get the award. We got to talk about Dylan Brown. All right, yeah. D bags pled guilty. To, uh, pled guilty to two counts of sexual touching without consent at a night out at a pub back in June. He was suspended for a whopping seven games. Seven well, you games. Can't, you can't touch a breast nowadays. Yeah, apparently he had about fifteen drinks that night. 
and got a little bit too grabby and you know uh justifiably so pleaded, pleaded guilty suspended he did it he did his thing but in my opinion like it's bad but it's not scandal of the year okay it's not scandalous okay the bulldogs i have the bulldogs in general right here so they had a lot of internal club drama yeah this year reportedly tough training conditions under cam sorallo the new coach andrew davley left the club was vocal about his uh dislike of the coaching style there another yeah. unnamed player as we said earlier walked out of training after reportedly being forced to wrestle 12 of his teammates after turning mm. up to training late uh, and now it's believed that he's intent on not returning to the club. Now, that's it's pretty scandalous, but it's not okay. like I feel like they needed one more really bad thing to happen for needs, them to get the next needs level. A little sprinkle of NRL. I it think. needs a little bit more. A little bit of sprinkle. <laughs> a little bit more. Um, another scandal, which you know people kind of forgot about, but it's still it's still going on, is Ben Hunt. Ben mm -hmm. Hunt went public after Anthony Griffin was coached, that he wanted to leave the Dragons, but they made him stay. They're not letting him go. Despite being the captain of the club and is still on contract, to this day, is still vocally maintaining that he wants to leave. Yeah. That's months. Imagine what that does for team morale. Dude, like imagine being in his fucking team and just being like, our captain doesn't want to fucking play with us yeah. like you would have to have your own little like posse of being i would if i was in that team i'd be like fuck this cunt fuck this yeah. old man who's getting paid a million dollars i'm on like 300k fuck yeah. this cunt ben hunt who's getting paid about yeah. a million bucks he plays for queensland plays for australia and he's going yeah. vocally out in the media just be like yeah i don't want i don't want to be here but they're making me stay exactly the scandalous yeah. to me scandalous didn't win <laughs> we're gonna talk about valentine holmes all right. So he most probably the most recent one. Uh, he posted a picture to his Instagram story with a bag of white powder in his mouth. To, in my opinion, a genius joke, a classic gag. One right? of the classic gags of all time. One of the classic gags. Um, just I think just a little bit, you know, it's incorrect in, in execution. I don't get there. why everybody blew up about it. It's funny. It's it's hilarious. I know exactly what he was going for. He was going mm. for the oh, I'm doing my washing. I'm a joke. Yeah. I like to party at the laundromat. Sort exactly. Of thing. Yeah, party, well, exactly. yeah. Again, you know, but it's not like, it's not, we've, there's been so many Coke scandals over the past 10 years. It's barely a scandal these days. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's yeah. nothing. Uh, uh, just barely missing out for me is Paul Kent, former host of NRL 360. Uh, you know? proli prolific lambaster of NRL bad off field behavior, charged with assaulting his former partner. And stood down from NL360. Uh, it's it's the hypocrisy for me. I will say this: he's fighting the charges, so they are mm -hmm. alleged at this stage. But it's the know, alleged hypocrisy. You know what? I think Gordon Tallis started weak, but I like him more and more each week. He gets his feet underneath him. He's a little bit like us. Yeah. Uh, he gets his feet underneath him, and he keeps running. He keeps running. He's getting better at it. Gordon Tallis is getting better at it, and it'd be a shame if he wasn't there next year. He's warming into it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I in my opinion, I don't think Paul Kent's coming back. I don't think he comes back from this. Apparently, Paul Kent is working a graveyard shift at a funeral home to make ends meet. I don't know. I, I don't know that. if we if that made a, a just a tip episode, but I saw that. Yeah, I saw that too. Who's All got right. It? Okay, so the winner of the scandal of the year, and uh, listen, um, some people might say it's a boring one. Sorry, Jeff. But scandal of the year for me was the NRL versus RLPA dispute. That's pretty scandalous. Right. So it it's is. Out there. It, it was laundry. an. It was an incredibly long running dispute, which reached fever pitch about mid this year, if I remember correct. It it's finally late, yeah. it finally came to an end in August after a long stalemate of the two parties not talking to each other about this collective bargaining agreement. Um, they refused to negotiate and they were take, refused to negotiate. They were taking swipes at each other in the media. It got so bad that it led to a game day media blackout of players that refused to talk to the media. Um, they taped over the NRL logo Love of that. their chest in uh, round 22, it was. Um, they released a video to try to gain support from fans. There was talk that, that players were about to start delaying kickoff times as well. So it's not as, should. as I said, it's not a fun pick, but it affected the whole game. And when mm. people 
in like like when players fuck up fucking dumb 22 year old full of cum idiot players who didn't finish high school it's like well eh, of course but when the people in the big offices in the suits who are supposed to be smart cannot mm. get their shit together it hits different for me when you compare it to the dumb footy players so for me this is my scandal of the year terrific congratulations to the nrl and rlpa scandal drama silver circuit silver circuit bravo, silver bravo. circuit to you ben are you getting evicted what is happening are you getting evicted yeah no i don't know you <laughs> I don't you, know you you don't know is it because you were smoking inside um maybe <laughs> Yeah. Can you cheer the fuck up, dude? I'm the one who's supposed to be angry and, and upset right now. And I'm having a great time. I'm enjoying yeah. myself. Sorry, I've been spooked. I've been spooked. You been spooked, spooked out of your bloody mind, yeah. mate. Look yeah, at you. I, I, as I said earlier, Ben, I need you to compartmentalize. Have you ever com com compartmentalized before? Have you, ever, have you ever put your cum into the compartmentalize? Yeah. Have you seen that politician video where he, like, gets on stage to make a speech? And then and he he's just like, freezes. Oh, like, sorry, no, he's like, sorry, I'm late. My wife just died. Um, like that day. This is just, exactly like, the same, isn't it? Yeah, this is the <laughs> same thing. And she's like, what she's, happened? And he's like, what? They're like, what? What are you doing here then? He's like, oh, um, you know, the job has to get done. He's like, oh. he's like, they're like, what? Well, please, what tell us what happened. Oh, he was in in a car crash. Um, she, she was in a car crash, and then like, oh my god, and. Um, and where are the kids? And it's just like, they're also in the car. And the, you're, you're, the, my son's in a coma and the, the daughter's like missing a leg or something. And then he's just like, still had to go to his meeting. Great story. Thank God you don't have a family. Yeah. So why are you getting evicted? Yeah. Yeah. Why are you getting evicted? Also, how long have you been in Vietnam all up? Or wherever I am. <laughs> wherever, wherever you are. You are. It's been a while now. It's been a little while. Bit and you don't know a and you know a lick of Vietnamese, but you can't communicate with the Seki, telling you to stop smoking inside your apartment. No, nah, he was just screaming at me. What about? I don't know. They weren't happy. Okay. You, you don't good? know. <laughs> no. Are no, no. They, they brought they brought somebody that speaks English up the second time to come and speak to me. Okay. What did they say? I'll, I'll speak. I'll speak to you off camera. Okay, all right. Let's Is move on. Okay, all right. Well, we'll move it's, on. It's, we'll it, move on, it's, move on it, right. it sounds like it sounds like a bummer. Honestly, I feel like this might be the best circus of all time. It's, it's pretty unhinged. <laughs> it wouldn't be a circus award if it wasn't unhinged. Um, well, shit. I kind of Ben's in a bad mood. I kind of feel bad for giving out my silver circus. <laughs> I kind of feel bad, but I'm going to do it anyway. I was going to check with you, Matt, whether or not this is really mean. Compartmentalize, uh, Ben. Compartmentalize. Com com compartmentalize. But I'd like to start a tradition of the... Um, I'm going to call it the Ash Taylor Memorial Cirque for the player that did nothing all year and decided to contribute when the season was basically over. Oh, dear. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the winner of the Silver Cirque is... Ben's turn. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Ben's turn. Congratulations. Is this your first silver circuit? Yeah. What was it's it a again? It's a great background. Matt, Matt, your background? Terrific. Good job. Thanks. Good job. <laughs> Congratulations, Ben. Send me your address and I'll send you the silver circuit in the post. Thank you. What does a circuit look like, do you think? <laughs> I, I, I imagine... I, I, Yes. I think it's our logo. I imagine it's just like a little, like a little rod with like just the foreskin on the top of it, like facing towards the person, like to it, like you look at it and it's just yeah. like the tiniest little thing, you know. There's no yeah, foreskin. Yeah. It's a circuit. That's the whole thing. They're circuits. Yeah, it's, it's circuits. What do you mean? It's not called yeah. the uncircuits. It's the circuits. That's, that's true. Yeah, that's but true. the foreskin's been removed from the penis, so it's just it's circumcised. Yeah. So it's just a dick. Yeah. Well, no, it's. We can't just have a dick. Yeah. You're saying, you saying. I mean, you can, but it doesn't make any sense. Isn't a dick. It's just a dick without it, without a four. It's not a circuit. We gotta, we gotta workshop what a circuit is. 
It's what we got to do in the off season. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the obvious answer is just our logo. It's the football with the scissors, right? On on a little stand. Oh I mean, that's yeah, the, that's the obvious answer. That's the obvious answer, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Put Obviously. some fucking thought into it, Matt. Yeah, Jesus yeah, it's, Christ. It's a, it's a penis with the scissors onto it. That's what it is. Benjamin, are you ready for Dirtiest Foreskin of the Year? And do dirtiest you want to hear who my nomination is? Uh, yes. Yeah. Mine, I don't. I didn't tell you who, who mine is, but I think the Dirtiest Foreskin goes to Cam McInnes. That cunt's never Oof. cleaned his cunt, cleaned his cock in his yeah, life. Dude. Yeah, it's uh, Cam but, McInnes. But by, by the way, by the way, just got everybody here for a bit of context, right? Yeah. So we were coming up with awards for this episode, and we decided that you know let's just settle on a good five, right? So we've got the Shame Award for our worst player and the Golden Circle for our best player, who we'll get to. Mm-hmm. My award, which is Scandal of the Year, your award, Mike, for Comet of the Year, Ben's award for Daddy Little Com Drop of the Year, but Ben insisted that we must have the dirtiest foreskin of the year. Mm. Uh, how we decide this, I don't know, but we all get to nominate someone each. Mike, you're saying Cam McInnes. I'm saying Cam McInnes, yeah. Uh, independent arbitrage send you my answer. Harry was very uh, hands off. No, he didn't send me that. He didn't send me your dirtiest foreskin. He didn't? No, he sent me your daddy's little cum drop though. What a fucking uh, useless cum. You, you can tell, just tell me, us right you now. You tell me. All right, so we got Cam McInnes from Mike. Mm-hmm. Who's I your have, pick, I, Matt? I have, I have mine. I've got my dirtiest foreskin. Who is it? My dirtiest foreskin is Liam Martin of the Panthers. Oh, the dirty oh. foreskin, yeah. Yeah, nah, because uh, I, I have heard in interviews that apparently he stinks. Like apparently yeah. he, apparently he doesn't shower when all the other players are showering when he should shower. I think he's definitely got some backed up oil and uh, material. In there, yeah. Mm. yeah, for sure, a bit of fed. Le- Liam Martin, I'm guessing he's Liam a country Martin. boy. Yeah, yeah he's my dirty sure. foreskin. Benjamin, tell us who gets the silver circuit for the dirtiest foreskin of 2023. I just had to check my my calendar to make sure it was 2023. Uh, do you ever do that? Yeah. You're like, what no. fucking year is it? Dirty no. foreskin of the year, coming in uh, in third place, Josh Curran. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yep. Coming in in second place, um, Christian Tupolotu. Wait, these are the <laughs> nominations I have for your shame award, by the way. No, they're not. Oh, fucking! He sent you the wrong ones for the shame. Apparently, yeah. That's so random, then. What do you? Yeah, I even put it in the thing. It's not golden circ, shame, dirty. Okay. Fall. Okay. Okay. All right. S- send your shame award nominations to me now and I'll, I'll fix this. Uh, fix this. Okay. Should we, right, should so- we pause? We're not no. using it again next year. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mike said yes to that idea. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. Mike said yes. Okay. I know a bad idea when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me do it. All right. And the first place Dirtiest foreskin in league for 2023 goes to Trumman. Matt Lodge. Oh, that's a filthy foreskin. That's a good pick, to be honest. Tra- I like that pick. Translucent. Have you seen that kid's kid? He, that kid's skin. <laughs> Translucent foreskin. <laughs> Classic. Well done. Congratulations, Matt Lodge. Congratulations on your silver circuit. That's good stuff. <coughs> we love that. Well done. Brava. Brava. Wow, what a night. Rugby League's night of nights. What a night we've had. What what, what a (laughs) night it's been so far. I I, I, I knew something would go wrong, but I just didn't know it would go this way. I think we're making terrific time. What do you think, Matt? I think we're doing great. What about a quick, just to cheer Ben up a little bit, because he's on the fringe of coming back to us. I, I, I don't a... know. I don't know if it's the entire bottle of sparkling wine talking or not. This is my favorite episode all year. This is <laughs> definitely the wine. Completely <laughs> fucking off the rails. Uh, how about Woo. a quick round of circle or non cirque Quick round of circle or non cirque What do we got? Come on, grand final edition. All right, you ready for this, Ben? Circle non cirque All right, yeah. Ben, you ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna write this down. Okay, my first option for cirque or non cirque He was a very important player this year. My first player for Cirque and Non-Cirque is Reese Walsh. Mm. Ooh. Oh, not Cirque. He's, no, he's definitely cirque Ooh, you can't, okay. You, Differing opinion here. You can't have that much unabrided confidence 
and be uncircumcised. Being uncircumcised is you're Shameful. shamed by the world and you keep your talents hidden to yourself. Mm. You're a Liam Martin. You're a Matt Lodge. You're a Josh Dirty. Curran. Filthy. You're filthy. Reese Walsh has never had to have that fear of the smell when a woman sucks his cock. And for that reason, Reese Walsh is uncircumcised. Benjamin. Yeah, Walsh, he's, uh, he's uncirc. Wait, you both agree. I thought Mike said he is circed. I'm saying he's uncirced. I'm saying he's circed. Why do you think he's uncirced? you got to look at, like... Look at the facts. you got to look at the... you got to look at the facts, yeah, but you just got to look at... Excuse the he's pun. So, look he's at so head. quick. He, he's so head. aerodynamic. He has got no sails holding him back when he runs. He's that quick. Have you seen this cunt run a line? Mm. He's so quick. I see him snort a line. Alright. Yeah. Alright, who's the next one, Matt? Are you the, the tiebreaker on this one? Alright, I'll be the tiebreaker. Okay, mm -hmm. so Mike, you're saying he's circumcised. Ben, you're saying he's uncircumcised. Yeah. I say he's... circed. Ooh, okay. He snipped. Let he us snipped. know in the comments, what do you reckon? Let us yeah. know in the comments. Oh yeah, shout out to the comments. Shout out to the hope, comments. I hope comments. you're with us. I, I hope you're still watching. <laughs> you're still with us, bro. You have lost everybody. Okay, all right. Um, I, my, my next um, nominee, I guess, for this game of Cirque or non Cirque is a player mm. who will be leaving us this year. It's Tavita Pangai Jr. He'll be back. Is he Cirque or non Cirque? Hmm. What do Islanders do? do they, they're Christian, right? Not sure. They, they traditionally Cirque. I don't go ben? to church. I don't know what's up these days. Savita Pango. Oh, yeah. He, uh, I'm going to say he is. I'm going to say he is. Yeah, I think he is too, you uh, know. The boxy jaw. And... <laughs> the boxy jaw. I mean, he's well-groomed-ish, sort of. I don't know. Not really. Um. Yeah. I think he, in his brain, if I can get what? into Tavita Pangai Jr.'s brain, uh, he makes poor decisions a lot of the time. Oh, he does. He's got to get that from somewhere. I'm thinking his parents, who have made a poor decision, mm -hmm. and snip that kid's tip of the okay. cock off. Interesting stance to take. So I agree with Benjamin. Okay. okay. That's Sir. First, I don't think agree. Sir. All One right. More. So One more. My, my last player... Cirque or non Cirque is notorious, infamous amongst our group. Daily Cherry Evans. Oh, that cunt's so circumcised. Get hit. If he is a brethren of mine, I'm going down to the doctor and snipping right now. I don't want to be a part of that cunt. He's so circed. Yeah. Okay. Ben's saying hard Cirque. Sorry, yeah. Mike. No, Mike, sorry, Mike's saying hard Cirque. Sorry. Look at the shape of his fucking body. His yeah. body is circumcised. He's got the body of a Cirque. Okay. All right, Ben. What do you got? No, no. He, he he's he's the kind of pig that would selfishly get that dirty cheddar box extracted. Look at his little like his little smile whenever he's in like a professional photo, like a like a team photo. He's always like, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the smile of a cunt who's circumcised. He's like, no, sex. Uh, put, put DCE uh, next to me right now. Got it. There we go. <laughs> He's circumcised for sure. Benjamin. Benjamin. Is he surgeon on circ? Rubbing your eyes and really thinking about this. <laughs> He's a rubber. He's a rubber, this guy. He's a rubber. <laughs> Come on. Let's like, get an answer. Let's move on. He's not. He's not. He's not circ. He's not. No, he definitely is. Uh, I'm going to say he's circed. Okay. Cool. What so a great as, they, as, as much as they hate to admit it, he's a, he's a circ. He, um, he just has that air of arrogance about him. So if, if I'm if I'm seeing this correctly, Mike, we still got our shame award, our golden circy, and we need to talk about the NRLW Grand Final as well. Oh, should we hit the NRL De Grand Final W right now? Like, I reckon we go shame, and then NRLW, and then golden circy. <laughs> 
I've had almost a fucking entire bottle of Shandon. I'm sorry, Boy. viewers. I'm not, I apologize to neither of you two. Apologize to the viewers. Holy yeah, shit. Shame yeah. award, you reckon? Shame award. Because uh, cause right. I, I have all the nominations for Shame award and Golden Circuit. Otherwise, I'll be talking for too long. If let's I, go. If I do both back to back. Let's Yeah, let's do it. I had comments and hypothetical between those two, but we can put the NRW in there as well. Let's go. Okay, so our annual Just the Tip Shame Award is for our worst player of the year. Okay? Our worst player of the year. And we go on a similar, like, Dally M style voting system to kind of how it is. So we, we all get to vote for three players. One player gets three points. One person player gets two points. One player gets one point. We yeah. all give our votes. We all put our votes into supposed... Um, arbiter of the votes, Harry Robinson, who has read Ben's message incorrectly. I can confirm this. I see the message <laughs> that has been sent uh, to and Benjamin And famously, I, I misunderstood the assignment <laughs> and, as well. And also, Mike, I misunderstood what the award so meant. Did Harry no, fuck up? No, Harry fucked up and Mike fucked up. So Mike thought it was the most shameful player. So uh, no, it's actually the worst player. Yeah, for, honestly, for once, you are of no blame in this situation. Um, okay, so sure enough, we all voted for three players each, three, two, one, and literally none of us had any overlap. We all voted for different players. Really? So, so that means that for the Shame Award, we have a three-way tie. Terrific. So, Mike, you're most shameful, and by but when I mean most shameful, I mean your worst player of the year was Jack DeBellin. Absolutely, Jack DeBellin. The one time he got the chance to be the captain of the team, he got sinbinned. And it's a fucking dog shit team, dude. Sorry. You have one chance. Don't get fucking sinbinned. Holy shit. What if they need a captain's challenge? That they should have a backup captain, but it's the fucking dragon, so I don't know if they did. Jack DeBellin. <laughs> they got six captains. Um, all right, Benjamin. For your worst player of the year, you decided on Luke Brooks. Tell us why. Just like useless, pathetic. Like he's such a non-entity. He's anti-matter. He is a black hole. He's a black hole. Black I'm, hole. I'm interested to see how he goes at Manly next season. Hmm. Uh, why, who would want to buy a broken second-hand car? Dude, has he played for the Tigers for 10 years? Uh, yeah, I reckon it's been 10 years. Jesus yeah. Christ. Has never played finals. Has never played I'm finals. I'm excited to see how he goes at Manly. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and myself, also in equal first for the worst player of the year, the Shame Award, I voted for Anthony Milford. Yeah, because Anthony, Anthony Milford, who was signed to the Dolphins, who was all preseason, thought he was going to be the starting 5'8", was beaten to his round one spot by Isaiah Katoa, a rookie who has never played NRL. Anthony Milford had such a bad preseason performance that even the captain, Jesse Bromwich, came out and said, yeah, he's been below par. It they, up, but yeah. So rarely does an actual fellow teammate go to the media and say, yeah, this guy's been training like shit. Dude. The, the fall from grace for Anthony Milford is something that should be documented. When I first moved to Brisbane, he was on the he was on buses, you know? Like, yeah. when he was playing for the Broncos, he was on buses. And I think that was the year they got the spoon. Like, fuck me, dude. It's, it's, like, it's, like, when, yeah. it's like when, like, clothing brands or whatever uh, have run their course as a high-ticket item. And then they sell out and just get sold in Big W or something. And they're like, you know what? We're JJ's. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cheapen yeah. out the image and just, you know, sell them well, off. Con congratulations to Jack DeBellin, uh, whoever Ben voted Luke, for. Luke, Luke Brooks. Luke Brooks and Anthony Milford on the split silver circuit. Congratulations. A split silver circuit, shame award, worst player of the year. Ben, could you do me a favor and just put your sunglasses on? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> he looks sad too. Could you? Will you put that as my um? Put that up as my 
thumbnail. Yeah, yeah do, do it when we do the thumbnail later. Make sure you put that up. I'll get that in there. Oh, dude, what the fuck are we doing now? NRLW? Let's go, NRL Titans. NRLW, let's go, the fucking Titans. Can I, tell you, can I tell you guys a little secret? Tell us a secret. I might be cameoing on um, BKRS Sports Instagram this weekend. What? Yeah, he, asked, he asked for more. videos of Titans fans to show their support for the NRLW team. So I chucked my jersey on and I gave him a little message of encouragement. And I think he's going to stitch them all together and do like a little video. Unless Hell mine yeah. was too cringe. Um, I recorded a couple. Too. The first one was Smishum Titans and I just yeah. went ape shit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, and the next, the next one I think was just a genuine message of appreciation or whatever. I can't remember what I fucking said. If yeah. it's too cringe, it won't make it. But look out for your boy on BKR Sports. Uh, in this room, in this very room, he must think I'm a fucking weirdo. With, with the dress. With the dress in the background. Come on, I'm not going to move the dress. Come on. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a part of it. Um, yeah, Titan NRLW side uh, in a great position to take home the first ever premiership for not only the gold coast titans but for any gold coast sporting team which any includes gold fucking yeah. basketball the suns fucking baseball yeah. any fucking gold coast team we had a soccer team i think once maybe i think we did yeah i think we did gold coast united maybe i'm not sure yeah. they're not around anymore that's for damn sure that's right yeah fuck yeah go the girls i watched their game against the roosters on the on the weekend and the chookies were never in it to be honest, it was a dominating game. And I'm concerned about their game against the Knights because that game was so high scoring. I think it was against the Broncos, potentially. Uh, mm. I almost yeah. vomited. It was a uh, high scoring game, yeah. Titans defense should get the job done. Um, they look really good, the ladies. You know what upsets me? What? Go on. When people call them girls, like girls yeah. should be 17 and under. It's NRLW, mm. it's not NRLG. They're women, or ladies. It's not the NRLG. It upsets me. Call them women, they like it better. You know? Yeah, women or ladies. But and yeah, the girls. girls. That's yeah. so stupid. I always call us, like, the boys, what's going on, boys. That's so stupid. But that's because we're a part of it, you know? We're in it. We're, that's our word. We're allowed to say that. <laughs> that's our word. That's our word. Uh, that's right. So are you word. saying if a woman calls you a boy, it's condescending? Absolutely uh, condescending. If she no, goes, I'm listen, okay with it. if she goes, listen, boy, I'm I'm a 32 year old man. I'm a 32 year old what? man. I'm I'm a -year -old man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's condescending, and I don't like it when they say it. Okay, that's it. Right, that's, I'm on my that's soapbox. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. It's really, you should take off your tie. By the way, it's getting loose now. Mm, me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Size off. Like last year, subtle deterioration throughout the show. Oh, we deteriorated <laughs> early in this yeah, one. Yeah, oh, we're deteriorating. Um, okay, it's the NRL grand, NRLW Grand Final. As you said, it is the first time that any Gold Coast sporting team has ever made a Grand Final. As far as I know, unless they've made like a netball Grand Final at some point, I have no idea. Doesn't care. Um, what, what's also crazy is that the NRLW Titans team has taken just three years we came in at 2021. In our third year, we've made a grand final. The Gold Coast men's side came into this into the competition in 2007, and we've never made a grand final. Where the fuck are they? It's obviously, a smaller pool. How can you um, how can you even compare the competition? Like you're playing against 16 other teams versus however yeah. many even field a team. Yeah, no, that that's a great point, Ben. I thought about that when I wrote it down. But it still doesn't change the fact that the Titans men's team has never made a grand final. The best we've ever done, I think, is made a prelim final one year when we lost to the Roosters. I think it was like 2010 or something like that. Um, but that doesn't change the fact that there is a Gold Coast team in a grand final. We beat the Roosters who are above us on this the is, ladder. This, this we kept them 12 to 12 nil. Sorry, Ben. There are always Gold Coast teams in grand finals. L l name another one. I can't name them. Name one. <laughs> no. name my, one. My, my, my point is that think about all like unprofessional leagues and stuff that we don't even know about. 
Oh but, yeah, in in like uh, the, the in the Gold Coast League, yeah, there might be a Gold Coast team in the yeah, grand final. In the, in the fucking Burley Bears. Yeah. <laughs> that Come doesn't on, count. Man. Come on, Ish. man. We're, 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 we're talking top of the league. This is the Circies we're talking about, man. These, Come on. These, these are the Circies. Okay, so listen. There's a Titans team in a grand final. I'm going to be watching this game. I'm going to be cooked. I'm going to be passionate. I'm going to be screaming at, the, at this TV screen. The Knights, their opponents, they finished first on the ladder. They won, They lost one game all season, the Newcastle Knights. They had an 8-1 and one record. They haven't lost since round two. They were easily the favorites in this game. Even though they beat the Broncos for the fourth place team, it was like 30 to 24 or something. They only won by six points, a high scoring game. For the Titans, they beat the Roosters 12 0. Great result there. Um, most, most impressive, though, is that their marquee signing, signing Talia Fuimaono, has basically missed the entire season. I think she played round one and then she got injured. Now, and it's 18th man, 18th man in this game. They, the coach has decided to not change a winning formula, um, which is a, which is a big call. But obviously, you know, they're on a roll here. So she's 18th man. Titans, they've won five games in a row getting to this point. Last week, kept the second place team to scoreless. An extra special, though, I'm not sure if you saw this, Mike, on the Titans uh, social media pages, is mm -hmm. that Stephanie Hancock, who is 41 years old, uh, and an NRLW legend at this point. The coach? She's, no, she's a player. Oh, really? Yeah, Stephanie Hancock used to play. She's played for the uh, Jill Roos. Um, she used to play for the Broncos before joining the Titans. Um, mm -hmm. She plays another grand final. And there was a... She, she's like, at, at this age, she's a bench, bench player at best. Ben, can you please stop unwrapping? Please, like, you know, Ben, the what the fuck is that? The um, Stephanie Hancock is 41 years old, uh, who I, a couple of no, number of years ago thought that she, she'd be done and she kept just hanging on hanging on playing 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 more games and it's always been in the best team and now she plays on the grand final and there was an, uh, it was a clip of her when they made it to the grand final she was on the bench and she started breaking down into tears and her mm. teammates got around her while she knew that she got another chance to potentially win the grand final heartwarming moment if i've got my head in this game the Knights win because they've been so dominant all year. They've had a really good team and they've had a dominant season. But fuck it. Titans, first yeah. prem in history. Titans win by two points this game. Let's fucking go. I am going to be picking the girls in so fucking hard for this game. Holy shit. I'm so excited. Titans fucking go, win. Titans. We beat the Roosters. They're, they're the best team in the competition. Fuck Second. the rest. Second best, second best. Knights are the best. You reckon the Knights are the best? Well, the well, Knights don't uh, have as, Millie as, Boyle as, or Jess Sergis anymore. As, as far as the latter goes, they were first. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them, I say. Yeah, Titans win. Fuck them. Um, shout out to Jessica Elliston. Oh, hey, yeah? If you're yeah. watching. You like that? Hey. You like hey, the Jesses, up? don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Hey, Jess. <laughs> what's up? Yeah, um, uh, uh, Ben, who's winning? Knights, Titans, NRLW Grand Finals. Oh, Titans, yeah, go Titans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's oh, fucking go. Let's go, Titans. On, Titans, let's go. Give us something. Let's go, shaka, bruh. Um, all right, what do we got? What's next on the agenda here? Got Should comments, we get maybe? comments? Should we read a little comment? Com comments, let's do comments. comments. All right, we have you're got... Gonna rush the, you're going to rush the episode if you don't pee. No, I'm it's good. already. I'm easy. It's, we've already been going for an hour. Let's go comments. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Um, rugby league history writes. Thanks for all the episodes this year, lads. You always make me laugh each and every week. Thank you, good rugby accent. league history. Thank you, rugby league history, for all your support all year, all your comments every single week. We appreciate it. From the start, you've been here, rugby league history, and I really fucking appreciate you like no other. I really do. Yeah, yeah. I love Leave you. some more comments. If you want. Also, um, by the way, if, if anyone's watching this video who doesn't watch Rugby League History, go watch Rugby League History. Go subscribe. The man knows, he knows his shit. He knows what like he's fucking subscribe. talking about. He honestly knows what he's talking about. He he will never get his phone out mid-podcast and just fucking scroll through. <laughs> you can guarantee <laughs> that. Let, let alone on Rugby League's Night of Nights. It's the Night sucking Nights. the fucking circus. That's right. I'll just, it, ben, Ben's here. Oh, no, he's gone. Compartmentalize. <laughs> Um, history of, 
piss all over your fucking nuts tonight, I bet. Uh, history of football rights. This offseason, Ben should really seek some professional help. Do they have, like, therapists in Vietnam? Uh, no. No, okay. Well, sorry, well, history of well, football. It's not sure. going to happen. Yeah, ain't going to happen. William Pearson, with one of the all-time comments, says, Storm have a good record at a core stadium, Sydney. Get the fuck out of here, William. William, I want to thank you for commenting. Get the fuck out of here. That's all I can say. Get the fuck out of here. Purple skid marks. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. Um, next one. Last one. We only got four. Shame. But I've saved the best for last. Six replies to this one. What the fuck? Hang on. Go back. Oh, no. That's all me. Never mind. <laughs> um, last one. Um, Adam Garo. Adam G. Writes, Adam G. One of the OGs. Adam G. One of the OGs. Uh, Bronx, easy win on the Waz. They're too tired. Fuck. If this, if Adam Garo is Harry, he has gone so method. Um, this, he spelled there wrong. Two, needs another O. Ty, <laughs> tired. Wrong tired. <laughs> Bronx had a rest. Yeah. Could have used a full stop in there somewhere, I'm sure, as well. Thank you, Adam Garo. Uh, well, he was Lovely, right, man. He was right. The Broncos end up smashing the Warriors in the end, didn't they? Smashing them. Smashing them. Oh, Benny's tired. No, he's sleepy. Oh, he's it's, sl- it's, it's oh, been it's been it's, it's been a long night of not talking. The Benny is eepy. <laughs> Dude, I've been exhausted. <laughs> yeah, bro, you're telling me. Um, all right. I think I think it's time. Is it time for the? I think gold. it's time. Hang on. Golden Circuit. Let me just, let me just, uh, my last one, my last, yeah, my last it. glass. Hang on. Well, guys, each year we give out the Golden Circuit. More prestigious than the Dally M, more prestigious than the RLPA Players Association Award for Best Player, oh, as voted by more. the players. No one gives a fuck about that. Better than any, you know, club award for clubman, best player of your club award. This is the preeminent. This is it. Decider of the best player of each year. This is the top. Folks, it's as big as it gets. Let us know. As big as it gets. Let us know. Let us know. Who who you would have the golden circuit, I guess, is what he was going to say. Yeah, I think so. Um, so we've each decided to vote for five players. Top player gets five votes. Bottom player gets one vote. Tell me, Matt, we did have, we get we, any double up? Do we have any crossover We at all? did have double ups. We did okay. have crossover. And did we, we all do take into have... consideration State of Origin as well? Because um, I did. I did. I did too. I did too. Yeah. I don't know if Ben did. Hard ben to say. Too. What? <laughs> It's okay, you weren't listening. Do you um, want to get it? You take us, take us, Matt. Let's go. Okay, okay. So, in equal fourth position, there was a tie for equal fourth. We have two forwards. We have Payne Haas, who uh, s- Matt slammed a massive dick on the table this year for the Broncos. Mm. And we also have Tohu Harris, who had a fantastic year. For the Warriors, one absolutely. probably their second, probably their second best. Yeah, second or leader. third best all year. Yeah, absolute leader. So they were equal fourth. Tohu and Payne. In third position, outright, we have Lindsey Collins of the Roosters. He was my number one. Lindsey Collins has had a terrific year. Yeah, best Strong fullback year. in the game. Best Queensland fullback. Best Roosters fullback. Lindsey well, Collins. Like fullback. He's not a fullback. Uh, but he was, I beg to, he was playing, I beg that, to role. Too far. playing I beg that role. Playing that role. We saw that. We saw him. I've yeah, seen him catch and, jump catch in the bomb. air, catch and bombs. I th- I have seen him chase down wingers yeah, and tackle them tries. before. He's he's been he's there. Literally pull an aeroplane out of the sky with his <laughs> he's just and just bitten it. He's just taken a bite out of it and sent it back. Mm-hmm. He's he's a crazy good player. Uh, congratulations to Lindsay Collins. Should have been higher. That's my yep. yeah. 
should have been higher. You got Ben. One of you guys didn't vote for Lindsey Collins. He, he got he higher. got he got outright third, but in mm. equal first position. Equal first. Okay. No second place. Equal first. Right. We have John Johnson and Reese Walsh. Wow. Bravo. They both had fantastic years. Sean Johnson, you would argue, is basically a lock-in for the Dalian medal tomorrow night. You would think yeah. so. Reese Walsh is ineligible for the Dalian medal due to suspension, but he had a fantastic year. We all we all polled votes for Reese Walsh this year. None of us voted him as our first, but it's the one player that all three of us voted for. It's hard. It's difficult for me to vote for Queensland players, but mm. like by and large, they have had a, a great year. And it shows. It shows on the footy field. Yeah. You know what's crazy is that both myself and Ben voted for Sean Johnson as our first player. Ben, sorry, Mike, you polled no votes for Sean Johnson. That makes sense. And yeah. that's okay. That's okay. I, I figured you guys would vote for him, so I didn't put oh, him in yeah, there. We did. We did. We did. But yeah, Sean Johnson and Reese Walsh tied for Golden Circuit of the Year. <laughs> Congratulations. Can you quickly run through who we all voted for so the fan can get an idea for where our heads are at? Of course. Of course. Okay, so Mike. For your top player, you voted for Lindsay Collins. Then it was Tohu Harris, Reese Walsh, <coughs> Kalen Ponga, then Tyson Gamble. Terrific. Ben, your top player was Sean Johnson. Then Reese Walsh, Dylan Edwards, Lindsay Collins, and Hamaso Tabuai Fido. Really? The hammer? That's a good pick. Good, good year for the Dolphins. For myself, I thought I voted about taking Osaka. Sean Johnson was my top, then Payne Haas. Then Reese Walsh, two Broncos, that hurt me to do that. Adam Fanua Blake in fourth, and Daily Terry Evans in fifth spot for me. I, 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 Daily Terry Evans had a Fuck fantastic. Fan, oh, guys, he had a fantastically Get consistent him, year him. for sound, Manly. You sound like the guy that increased the price of AIDS medication like 10,000% trying to justify it. Yeah, that Listen. Martin Shirky guy. That's you. Yeah, you even yeah. kind of look like him. Martin Screlly. <laughs> Martin Screlly. Yeah, yeah I actually kind of look like Martin Screlly. <laughs> I'll put a little Screlly in here. Um, <laughs> a little uh, Screlly. That's uh, what listen, they call I'll, you. That's your rap name. I'll, I'll say this, right? Manly didn't make the finals, but Daily Terry Evans, they won player, he won player of the year for that club. He was a oh. shining light all year. And in, in origin, he was the best half. You would arguably for the entire Origin series, he helped Queensland win that series. He's had a great year. It's possible. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's an argument to be made that he, he should be the, the starting halfback, halfback for a Queensland Kangaroos. team that won this year. It's true. I mean, yeah, That's, maybe. Yeah. Like, uh, listen, I, as far as club land goes, Nathan Cleary is the best halfback. But on representative level, Cherry Evans is still ahead of Nathan Cleary, in my opinion. Hmm. Good now. On a, on a representative level. I don't, yeah, I guess. I mean, you know, I don't want to admit it. I'm scared to admit it, and I don't want to think about it any Listen, further. Listen, it hurt me to put, and that's he's got one point. It hurt me to do it, but I'm just, I, I, I can't. I was like, should Nathan Cleary be here? He didn't win Origin, and he missed a whole bunch of games due to injury. None of us picked Nathan Cleary. Like, None I of guess us that, him. that's just the, yeah, the standard we put him to. I guess. Well, if 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 I reckon if Nathan Cleary played the whole year because he missed games at the start, he missed games through the middle. He missed yeah. a lot of games, and he missed basically yeah. the entire. Or he played one Origin game and lost. Yeah. So that's like fair. he's, you know, he's going to be more of like a Finals MVP rather than a season MVP. I feel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's our Golden Circuit. Golden Circuit goes to who again? Sorry, Reese Walsh and Sean Johnson. Sean Johnson. Congratulations, both have had terrific years. The Golden Circuit. The Rove McManus Memorial Award goes to the Golden Circuit. <laughs> Well, that's it. Those are all our awards, I think. Well, that's it. I think that's the end of the show. Do, do we have a hypothetical? Do you have a hypothetical for us, Ben? Get a yeah. hypothetical? Take, oh, Jesus, take it in close. Just taking his shirt off. Because you know, I have one if you don't have one. Yeah. yeah give, us a... give us a hypo. Yeah. All right, guys. This is the last hypothetical for the year. It's a wrap. And it's a good one. Best it's pick. a really good one. If you were a shape, what shape would you be? Not what you want to be, personality-wise. What shape do you think you would actually be? Just like a 2D shape. A 2D shape. Geometry, baby. I get, while you think about it, I tell you what I am. Yeah. 
I'm a circle. Why? I'm, I'm a circle because I'm just, I'm fun and I'm not easily disrupted. Like you hit me, I just bounce. I just fucking yeah. go over here. That's I'm fair. just, I'm just like a, I'm a perfectly structured human being. That's yeah. what a circle is. That's I'm fair. fun, I'm solid, I won't let you down. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the triangle mm -hmm. because I'm rigid. I'm not yep. easily moved. You're a bit pointy. And I'm, I'm a bit pointy. I'm a bit sharp mm -hmm. if you don't know how to handle me. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to take yep. the triangle. you gotta, you got to come at the right angle. you really got to come at the right angle. Yeah. Something that Ben knows a lot about. Yeah. Coming ben, at what? right angles with his 90 degree <laughs> dick. I'm a rectangle. Ben. I'm a rectangle, but only a rectangle by that much, a little bit more than a square. Okay, so just slightly a rectangle, but almost a square. Are you sure you're not an oblong? If a square, if one side of a square is even like one millimeter longer than the other two sides, is it now a rectangle? Where's the line? Yeah, correct. A square has to be equal sides. Hmm. So even if it's 0 0.000001 like that. centimeters, that's a rectangle. So that's a good way to like bet somebody money, basically, where you draw a square, right? Uh, that's technically a rectangle, and you ask them what shape it is, and I say it's a square, and you say you want to put money on it, and they're like, yeah, you're a fuckhead, it's a square, okay? And then you bring out your fucking ruler that you're pre-prepared, and then yeah, you're grifting these motherfuckers every week. You're grifting. You grift. You grift. You're like, yep, yeah, this you was grift. a middle finger. Hmm. Thank right. you for answering. Great answers, all of them. Terrific. Thank you. Pro possibly the worst hypothetical hypothetical of the year, Matt. Really bad. Really bad. Really. I thought it was fun. It's I thought it was fun. Hypothetical. We can edit all this out. You know what? Before I get Ben to take us out, I just want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everybody who watched this this year, who stayed with us the entire time, who loves like what we are. The NR like the NRL is just sort of like the like it, it is the fuel for the car that we are driving. Um and I just I greatly appreciate everybody who took the time to watch this this year and just even put a little bit of effort into it. Every single person who commented, every single person who liked, every single like anybody who just like watched it on their way to work, who felt like they were just hanging out with their mates. I, I just I, I appreciate no, you so goddamn not, fucking much. Benjamin? We're not your mates. Um, for the last time of 2023, take us out. You didn't get let me fucking do a closing speech either. Because mine Maybe. was good. Because mine Mine's was good. Mine's going to be better. Yeah, yours no, was not. nice. All right, Ben, say it. I can always edit. I can always cut this. Can always cut oh. Yeah, just cut it. Just cut it and go straight to where he's taking us out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the final episode of Just the Tip and the 2023 Annual Circuit Awards brought Wait. to you by Just the Tip. Matt's Wait. been Matt, Mike's been Mike, Ben's been men, Ben, men, Ben. Ben, we, we, ben, we ben. Have, multiple we, men have been Ben. We have to do a thumbnail. We have to do a thumbnail, shit. <laughs> oh, I'm already nude. <laughs> do your finger. Let's do a thumbnail. You got my right. face on your finger, Mike. Do that. Fuck, what the fuck? Man? No, it's rubbed off by now. And now that for, you guys ready for a thummy? Get nice and centered. Bring, bring, your, bring yourselves back a little bit. Bring yourselves back a little bit. Move back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. That's good, go. that's good. Yeah, all right, now take us away. Thanks, out, man. I already did it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you another episode of the 2023 Circuit Awards. Goodbye, go fuck yourself. Till next year, you've had a well-earned off-season. Miss us, miss your footy, miss everyone. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to miss you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you in February, maybe. Oh, I don't God. know. Up the fucking Titans. Just rugby league night of nights.
it's all, it's just all the regulated dynamite. It's, 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 it's all good. It's all good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We pushed it back to suit him. <laughs> 